बिस्मिल्लाम अलैक वेलकम बैक टू सालार खान यूट्यूब चैनल सो वन थिंग आई वुड विश यू हैप्पी न्यू ईयर अ वेरी लेट बट द थिंग इज दैट दिस इज फॉर मी इट्स नॉट अ न्यू ईयर राइट नाउ बट फॉर यू एन यू गाइज गेट दिस वीडियो इट वुड बी अ न्यू ईयर द न्यू ईयर वुड हैव गॉन दिस वुड बी अबाउट अ मंथ अ गो और maybe maybe 15th around a half a month would be gone the thing is that while i was uploading the video so i schedule it for from the from the beginning so while while i was uploading the video so it it went to the january so the date was january right so then i saw that i had to mention the new year so the examples on the clipper circuits book examples on clipper circuits while i was uploading so that went to january right so that is why i i remember to 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 just wish you a new year anyways i have wasted a minute but no problem examples on the clamper circuit let's say we start off with some simpler example we are given a square wave as the input this is a time t this is the input voltage i would go in a little speed a square wave is given this would repeat this is having a plus v over here a minus v over here right the circuit is given the circuit is given such that you have a capacitor over here you have a diode over here you have a load resistor over here the input is plus minus input the output over here is plus minus output let me tell you one other thing the thing is most people ask that i use the ideal diode models what if we use the practical model silicon so what what would happen you do not need to ask this question you can just simply just replace it by a barrier potential the same k will the same this we if you have a reference voltage source for instance over here for instance this is replaced by an ideal diode so normally i'm taking it to be zero volts right over here i would be doing such i would take the ideal diode this would be a zero volt if i take the silicon diode what this would output would become a 0.7 volt for the positive cycle nothing right and similarly for the negative cycle apply the kvl yes yes so anyways let's say for the positive cycle i'm using the red color and i'm going in little speed so plus minus is the polarity plus minus over here would come this would be a vc what would happen now the diode would be shorted the diode is shorted yes can you should i need to draw the circuit yes so let's say i i draw the circuit so the diode is shorted out plus minus input plus minus vc and you have the resistance neglect that resistance the output would be taken across this plus minus output output is 0 volts the output is 0 for the positive cycle yes yes tau the current would flow in this way so r is 0 r is 0 no resistance so this implies that tau is 0 which means that the that the time constant is 0 which means that the capacitor has charged instantaneously no time taken by the capacitor to charge to the maximum value Yes yes so the, the voltage across the capacitor the voltage across the capacitor in this case is v input isn't it it is and what is v input in this case a plus v which is equal to a plus v it is it is v is equal to v now what happens now what happens the negative cycle will arrive and the negative cycle is very much confusing for very much people so negative cycle you could say this is now negative this is positive so this would be open circuited this would be open circuited the current will flow over here right so what would be the case over here the same voltage across the same voltage would be present over here why because i told you in the introductory video that the time constant is such that that it is far greater than rc value right yes it would not discharge during the period where the diode is off right so let's say i do this like this and i say a plus minus v output is over here so what would be the output in this case the output would be if this is the input this is minus this is plus so so what would be the output you could just directly say we or you want me to write the kvl equation so so let's see we draw the we draw the kvl in this direction so negative to positive v input negative to positive v output negative to positive v c is zero right so we need output so the output is 
negative V input negative VC. Now, confusion. What should I take the value of negative of V input? So I will take it only as V. I will only take it as V. Negative is this one and V input I've taken as V and minus VC. Why have I taken only the, the, ampli, the, the, the absolute value, the plus V value? Because I have changed the polarities. I have changed the polarities. If I, rem I, I let remain the polarities as plus and minus, what would in that case I do? I would take a minus of V over here. So in this way, I have changed the polarities. So I would only have to consider the plus V, the absolute value of V, right? So V output is minus V minus VC. And have a look, VC is what? VC, VC you've already seen is a plus V, right? And it would not discharge. C would not discharge. So which means that Vc is equal to V as well. So this implies that output is equal to minus 2V. Let's draw it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So let's draw it over where? Over here somewhere. T output. So for the positive cycle, this is 0. Output is 0, right? Output is 0 till t by 2 and then till t it's a negative 2v so what have we done we have shifted the waveform downwards have a look the overall swing the overall thing is a 2v the overall change from the lower end to the top is what it's a 2v over here and similarly is over here have a look minus v over here v over here the overall thing is 2v so this is the clamper circuit i told you you find it confusing over there you will understand it over here and this is what i was talking about the clamper circuit does what it shifts the waveform either downward or upward over here it has shifted the waveform without changing the waveform this is what this is a negative clamper negative clamper Example number two. Example number two. Let's say I make the question a little confusing as well. My input is like this. Repeating. This is this is ten or what? Now this is minus v simply. This is plus v. The circuit is given as like this. V input is over here. Load resistor is over here. Output is over here. Have a look. For this cycle, for the first cycle. So the first is a negative cycle. The input voltage is less than zero. The input voltage is less than zero. The diode is forward biased. It is reverse biased. It's forward biased. It's forward biased. But why is it forward biased over here? Because it is a P to N voltage is greater than zero. The voltage across the diode is basically minus of V input. So minus of V input should be greater than zero. Have a look, I told you about the voltage across the diode should be greater than zero. And the voltage across the diode in this case is minus of V input. Why? Because this is a minus, this is a plus. For this cycle I am starting. Yes, so this is minus of V input. This should be greater than zero. The voltage across the diode, which means that the input voltage should be less than zero for this to be forward bias. This would be forward bias. The output voltage would simply be equal to zero. Output voltage would simply be equal to zero, right? Yes. And have a look, this plate is connected to over here negative. This is connected to over here positive VC. So what would be VC? This is shorted out. You could just simply say positive to negative, negative to positive. VC is equal to V input. Isn't it like this? VC is equal to, where is it? Where is it? Vc is equal to V input, which is equal to V. Right? Yes. So Vc is equal to V. Vc 
is equal to v input which is equal to v and i have again taken the the, the the absolute value because i've mentioned the polarities now for the next polarity when this becomes plus this becomes minus so the voltage across the diode is greater than uh, uh, zero over here should it be well look no no the voltage is less than zero across it the p2n voltage yes yes because the n voltage is at a greater terminal so what happens is that this has to be reverse biased now so this is reverse bias. this is an open circuit and the output voltage is simply what the output voltage in for this case would be what it would be negative to positive let me write it uh, it is a v input minus vc v input minus vc plus vc v input plus vc minus v output is equal to zero v output is equal to v input plus a vc yes yes and why we see value we see v input is what in this case v input in this case is a plus v and we see is also what we see is also a plus v so this implies what that the output voltage is two times v two times v right yes so let us draw the output waveform quickly t output waveform so for the red color the diode was followed by for this cycle output is zero was followed by yes output is zero till a t by two and then what happens for the next it is a two v then repeats this is a t this is a 2v value so have a look for the overall swing the overall is what plus v over here plus v downward overall you have a 2v have a look over here the overall is a 2v that has been shifted and it has been shifted upwards so this is a positive clamper positive clamper this one was a negative clamper right yes i'm going in at a speed why because you know this because you know this yes next let's say we have biasing let's say we have biasing involved so the input is again given to be a square wave time x is input this time we are given values of plus 10 and minus 10 the circuit is given capacitor where is the diode uh, it's like this we have it like this another source we input load resistor you could also include or you could just directly take the output plus minus output right yes so this is a two volt source this is a two volt source let's say for the plus cycle for the plus cycle this is the case minus plus this is 10 what happens 10 is greater than 2 so this 10 is making it reverse by this 2 is also making it reverse biased overall the diode is reverse biased the output is simply equal to input and i made a mistake why why have i made a mistake because this is plus this is minus have a look the positive cycle so this plus is making it forward by this 2 is making it reverse by but 10 is greater than 2 the diode is forward biased if the diode is forward biased which means what the output is 2 volts directly yes voltage across the capacitor this is connected over here this is connected over here so plus minus right so what would be the voltage across the capacitor how to calculate it you apply a kvl you apply a kvl right so this would be short circuited the diode so you could say that uh, a v input then you have a minus vc and then you have a minus 2 and this is equal to 0 and we see is 10 minus 2 is 8 volts so this would stay at this 8 volts for the next cycle as well why because the time constant is quite large it would not discharge right yes next for this cycle now what happened this become minus this become plus this the value is 10 so 
Now this is also making it reverse bias. This is also making it reverse bias. Both the sources are making it reverse bias. Diode is reverse bias. It is open circuited. V not. So you have to apply KVL through the outer loop. So what do you have? Uh, a plus to minus is a minus of V input. Or let's say we take the current direction in the conventional current direction. Right? Yes. So you have a minus to plus V output minus to plus uh, we see minus to plus v input is equal to zero so v output is what uh, v input minus v c v input what would i take the value of v input i have changed the polarities i would only consider the 10 as the input so 10 v c would i would take what i would take is as an 8 why would i take is as an 8 because I have uh, taken that this would not discharge. So V output would be equal to 2 volts over here and I made a mistake somewhere. I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, minus 2 plus V output, minus 2 plus V C, minus 2 plus V input. Minus 2 plus V input. Right? Yes. So V output is minus of V input minus of VC. So I would just include this minus sign as well. Minus and then I would take the positive value 10 because I have changed the polarity. And then minus 8. So this would give me a minus of 18 volts. So I can draw the output waveform over here let's say. T this is output. So for the first cycle the output would be 2 volts. 2 volts is let's say this one till t by 2 and then it would be a minus a 18 minus 18 is this one so have a look 18 downwards 2 upwards the overall thing is overall swing is 20 have a look over here 10 upward 10 downward overall swing is 20 only shifting without changing the appearance of the waveform without changing the appearance of the waveform Next, maybe we, we make it the last for today or maybe we see some from the book also. Hmm? What do you say? What do you say? Let's say we study this. So, for the network in the figure, let's say we are given the inputs of 10 and minus 10. The input is again the same. Input is 10 and minus 10. Right. So now what do you have? The figure is shown like this. You have your polarities like this. This is the capacitor. This is the diode. You have a minus to plus. And input is over here. This is a two volt source. And then a resistor is shown. Well, this is also a silicon diode. 56 kilo ohm, <laughs> quite large value, but let's say whatever it is. Plus minus output voltage would be across this. Calculate 5 tau. A says what? Calculate 5 tau. If frequency is also given, frequency is 1 kilohertz. Then you have what? Compare. 5 tau with time period by 2 as I told you this should be far greater and of course the C part says that V naught is unknown so the calculations I'm not interested in you can just do it by yourself so so first you have the A part you could calculate tau which is equal to RC the C value is 0.1 microfarad so you could take what 56 into 10 power 3 multiplied with 0.1 10 power minus 6 what do you get tau is what tau that you get is 5.6 milliseconds 5.6 milliseconds then what do you get 5 tau 5 tau is 28 milliseconds right yes you have done this part b compare 5 tau with t by 2 so t would be what t would be 1 over f so this would be 1 millisecond t would be 1 millisecond right so 5 if you have to compare 5 tau divided by t by 2 right so 5 tau is 28 millisecond divided by this is uh, a 0 0.5 they will get a 0 0.5 have i made any mistake 
by 2 so you have to confer, can, can do it with a t by 2 so this is 1 millisecond this is 0.5 yes so this is equal to 56 yes yes so which means what that 5 tau is equal to 56 times t by 2 56 times t by 2 is quite a large value so I told you that this should be much larger than the t by 2 value to do what to get uh, to, so that the capacitor does not discharge during the cycle where the uh, diode is off and you've seen the advantage already that the waveform we are getting is a proper waveform isn't it like this it is right so now what do you have for the sake for the next case is to sketch v output so sketch v output has to be the same thing again positive cycle negative cycle so for the positive cycle let's say this one is the case so plus minus 10 volts over here so this 10 is making it forward biased. this 2 is making it reverse biased this would be forward biased right so just replace it by a by a plus minus like this 0.7 and this would be a 2 so so the output is this this is a plus minus output so what would be the output so you can apply a KVL in any direction, right? So you could say, let's say from positive to negative is minus two, then you have negative to positive is plus 0.7 is equal to, and uh, no, 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 not is equal to, wait. And then you have a plus uh, minus, then we output and this is equal to zero. So we output is equal to negative two plus 0.7 would be a negative 1.3. Let me check, yes, negative 1.3 volts for this, right? Yes, similarly for the next cycle, which is this one, so what do you have you would have a minus over here you would have a plus over here the output would, the input would be the same 10 so this plus is also making this plus is making it reverse biased this minus is making it forward biased right in the previous case i may have confused it anyways so 10 is greater than 2 the diode is reverse biased diode is open circuited v naught is simply equal to what v naught is simply equal to this was a plus minus so you have to calculate vc also so so let me have a little space and we calculate vc let me have a little space over here let's say let's say over here so so what would be my vc for the red one so vc you could calculate it from here so you can calculate that this current direction right so negative to positive is a plus v input then you have a po positive to negative is a minus of uh, vc and then you have a plus to minus uh, barrier potential and then a minus to plus two volts so this is equal to zero so put down the values we see uh, we see what come out over there v input minus barrier potential plus two so this means input is 10 in this case barrier potential is 0.7 plus 2 and this implies that we see what come out to be what 10 minus 0.7 plus 2 is 11.3 11.3 volts right yes now for the output the output in the reverse bias case the diode would be reverse bias for the green color so what would be the case the output would be uh, you could apply a kvl or whatever you want yes so let's say i apply it with the with this direction so it's a negative to positive v output negative to positive vc the polarities would be the same why because polarities would be the same the charge would be the same because it would not discharge and then a negative to positive v input so this is equal to zero so which means v output is equal to vc minus v input and we see is 11.3 v input is 10 so this comes out to be 1.3 and have i made a mistake i have made a mistake again somewhere in the polarities again somewhere in the polarities i have made a mistake so this is a negative to positive v input so which means a plus v input and then you have what a negative to positive v output so plus v output and negative to positive again plus vc equal to zero so v output is minus v input minus vc equal to zero so uh, this is uh, not equal to zero now this is equal to so minus sign from the beginning v input is 10 volts why have i taken only 10 not a negative 10 because i've switched the polarities right 
and then you have a minus and we see is 11.3 so this you get is a minus 21.3 volts you can just sketch the graph for yourself or let me do it t this is the output so for the red color what is the case output is negative 1.3 till t by 2 and then for the positive case this is a negative 21.3 and this would repeat and I believe that I finished this video over here but before finishing check out the swing 10 and 10 makes a total of 20 over here have a look 1.3 21.3 minus 1.3 the overall swing is 20 volts I hope it is clear I hope it is clear positive and negative you can check out by yourself it has been shifted downwards so this is a negative clamper similarly over here this is negative this is shifted downward this is also negative that is it I finish this video over here see you in the next video very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye